The top teams in the Western Conference battle for the final time in the regular season. The Calgary Flames will clinch first in the conference with a win. San Jose snapped the seven-game losing skid with an emotional 4-3 overtime win last night against Vegas. This building is still vibrating. Dalton Prout. Big defenseman trying to clear. Hit Couture, though. Play back. Meyer scores! Timo Meyer now on a five-game point streak makes it 1-0 San Jose. Puck goes to the other side. Vlasic puts the puck up the boards. Playing steel. Gaudreau out front. Monahan scores! Sean Monahan on a beautiful feed by Johnny Gaudreau. And the Flames tie the game at one. Third and two games for Monahan, 34th of the season. The Sanderson dumps the puck in. Your Flames fans, Cassie, you're happy to see those guys going again in the last couple of games. You know, and sometimes as the shooter there, that, it's tough to pick up that puck coming through defenseman's legs, and Monahan does a nice job. Mark Jankowski able to score. As they work it off the boards, and Jankowski, moments after Monahan ties the game, makes it 2-1 Calgary. San Jose with a couple of shifts, offensive zone pressure. That one was almost three minutes long. And the Flames come down the ice after the Sharks took the lead and in a half minute. They're on top themselves, late first period. Dodges a hit, makes a play. Hathaway tipped it ahead. Mangiapane, one-on-one on Heed. Now he gets support from Prout. Prout scores! Dalton Prout first as a Calgary Flame as he jumps up on the rush and makes it 3-1. Well, it's his first as a Flame. This is his 17th game of the season. He's been a... He's Real done. good teammate as that seventh defenseman. He has done everything that you can ask. That flutters into the corner. Play back to Brent Burns. He has some room. Rashad scores! No, they wave it off. Smith's helmet's off. They got to blow the plate in. Boy, it looked like it was I in thought from it was up in. here. All right, they're going to take a look at that. I, I think that might have hit the camera at the back of the net and came right back out again. But from hit Brent him in the Burns. Helmet. Hit him in no. the helmet and it, it hit the wow. crossbar. Yep, right, right in the corner. Yep. Bouncing puck back to Gaudreau. Tip to the line for Hamannick. Shot didn't get through. Gaudreau follows up. Leaves the puck for Noah Hannafin. He'll work it down the way. Up front, the score! Pinball's in. It goes in off the defenseman, Joachim Ryan. Some puck luck for the Flames, and they go up 4-1. to one. So that'll be back when it's 21st of the season. Flames are up by three. Just a bunch of games now. Well, he's played so much, too, in a way. Maybe getting some rest wouldn't hurt, but there's a chance now for Hurdle. Hurdle turns, passes, up front, they score! Couture with the finish. So nifty passing by the Sharks, and they cut the Calgary lead to two. Aaron Dell stops the puck behind the net. Lost it. Kachuk on it out front. Here's Giordano with a pass. Berlin scores! Aaron Dell makes a mistake behind the net, and moments later, Michael Frolik restores Calgary's three-goal lead. So Michael Frolik gets his 16th goal. Frolik has 11 points in his last 11 games now, and talked about the balance attack of the Flames. And that has been on full display in San Jose tonight. Drop it off at center. Worked in over the line. He tips it across. There's a shot. They score! Kevin LeBanc. With three and a half to go, makes it a two-goal game again. And for the first time since 2006, Calgary Flames will finish first in their division as they knock off the Sharks 5-3 and secure first place in the Pacific and the Western Conference and home ice advantage throughout the Western Conference playoffs. So the Flames open up this road trip with a win that secures first place.